Hey folks, how you doing? We're here at Bear Creek Arsenal again, going over some stuff with y'all. We're gonna be making these videos here. Um, today we're gonna to be talking about uh, muzzle devices, okay? Getting a lot of questions online and on the Bear Cave asking about um, the different muzzle devices, what can be used, uh, which ones do we offer, which ones do we have, which ones are the best. Um, ultimately, there is no best muzzle device. Um, each one serves a different purpose. To some people, it may be very similar. To other people, they may notice an exact difference between the different muzzle devices. So up here, uh, what I have in front of me are just a few of the muzzle devices that we use. Okay, the very standard birdcage, as you can see right here, very standard birdcage, uh, very uh, popular within the military community as well. Okay, this is more of a flash compensator. Uh, what this does is uh, it is to divert any type of flash. If there is flash um, from your shot being fired, uh, divi diverting it uh, up and away. Okay. Um, the next uh, next flash suppressor, flash hider I have here uh, is a, our spiral fluted su uh, suppressor muzzle device. This is more of a, uh, a compensator. Okay, a recoil compensator. And that's really the, the basic idea of what the flash suppressors, muzzle devices are for. It is to compensate. It is to help reduce recoil when being fired. So as you see this one, okay, when this one is spun around, you have a spiral fluted uh, type uh, striations going all around the, uh, the, the uh, uh, muzzle device. This is to... Not only is it to, to make it look nice and cool and pleasant because it does have the, the, the pretty awesome looking uh, flutes that are spiraled, uh, but it also it's to help divert a lot of that energy that is escaping along with the round being fired uh, in all directions. Uh, again, it's to, help, it's to help with the recoil of the rifle when the round is fired, okay? So then here we have uh, we have a real big one. This one is for our uh, this is for our 12.7, and as you can see, it mimics. It is very similar to the birdcage flash hider. In fact, it, that's what it is. This is a birdcage flash hider. Okay, and again, it is meant to divert the uh, flash if there is flash, uh, and it's also to to divert that energy that is coming along with the exit of the round. First, the firing of the round, the exit of the round, and the gas is escaping along with uh, uh, trailing that round coming out of your barrel. Okay, so another one that we did for our big, our large bore calibers <clears throat> is the tank brake style uh, muzzle device. Okay, this, is, this one right here is also for our 12.7. As you can see, this one has uh, more, more brakes, more openings to the sides. And the uh, difference between a compensator and a brake. Uh, brake, uh, tend to think more of like your brakes on your car. It helps you stop. So what this does is it takes that energy that is being diverted from the round and it is pushing it to the sides. This is a type of a muzzle device that if you're at a, at a range, uh, preferably an outdoor range, um, if you're shooting, hopefully you don't have anyone in the lane right next to you. Maybe even two or three lanes next to you. Uh, th this one with such a big bore, such a large recoil and such a loud sound, that sound and energy is going to be carried to the sides and the people next to you will certainly feel it. And those of you that have been next to someone with a muzzle brake uh, certainly remember that. Something else I wanted to talk about with these. So, as you can see, all of these, these muzzle devices, plus all the other ones out there in the world right now, come in different sizes, different shapes. Obviously, we have some that are park rice, some that are stainless steel. Okay, so, and you can see I've got two here, one park rice, one stainless steel. Now, something else that I've, I've heard come up a lot through emails and stuff, and I want to let you all know. So, the difference between these three and this one is that these three muzzle devices right here, they have a dedicated up and then a dedicated down, okay? It makes no sense in putting the striations in any other fashion 
because now that energy is being diverted towards the direction where the striations are. And if you want to help reduce coil of the barrel when you fire and you can reacquire your target, you want the striations facing up. Same thing with the smaller birdcage flash hider. Same thing with your, uh, oh, same concept with your muzzle brake. Okay, you want those striations to the side so that that energy can be pushed to the side. These types of muzzle devices usually, typically, and most likely will always come with a crush washer. The crush washer is to give a backstop to your muzzle device. So as soon as you're turning this on the barrel and it hits the crush washer, the crush washer is designed to open, okay? It will warp and open, creating a backstop for your muzzle device. So when you turn it so that you have the correct side facing up, you can stop, okay? With our fluted, yeah, our spiral fluted uh, muzzle device here, there is no dedicated up, down, sides. There is an equal amount of striation, striations with equal spacing in between them. There's, like I said, there is no up. There is no need for a crush washer with this type of muzzle device. If you add a crush washer to the back of this muzzle device, it will not hurt it. It will not change the accuracy of the round. It will not, it, it, it's not bad, okay? Uh, but this type of uh, muzzle device does not need a crush washer. So if you happen to order your, uh, your upper assembly or rifle or AR pistol and you see that you have a spiral fluted or a straight fluted muzzle device and there's no crush washer, that is okay. That is perfectly fine. Okay, so remember, muzzle devices, flash hiders, compensators, brakes, whatever it is you want to call them, um, yes, they do have different purposes, most of them have the, the exact same job, which is to divert energy, divert uh, a, a flash of light, uh, and to help reduce recoil. Uh, and that's the major thing with muzzle devices, to help reduce the recoil. So again, when you take your shot, you can then more quickly reacquire your target, regain your point of aim, and go ahead and take your shot accurately again. So hopefully this helps, helps you decide, helps you realize what kind of muzzle device you have on your upper assembly. And uh, hopefully it, it, it gives you a little more insight on what muzzle devices can do. Don't forget to like and subscribe our YouTube channel. Y'all be safe out there, be safe in the woods, be safe at the range. We'll see y'all next time.